Okay, as I said with the Modern Warfare 3 style M4A1, uh, I'm gonna play some bit, a clip from the actual game that the weapon I made featured in. Um, like I said, I haven't made, I haven't used the MK14 in Modern Warfare 3 yet, but I have used its closest match, the MK, uh, M14 EBR scope, and I'm not a good sniper. So, thank you very much. <laughs> um, also, considering the only character in the Modern Warfare 3 campaign that uses the MK14 is Grinch. Um, and I can't exactly play as him or kill him to get his weapons, so you just have to make do with the M14 EBR scope. I'm sorry I can't get it, but it's the closest thing at this current moment in time to the um, MK14. Cool, Apache. Oh, my fault, I can't shoot. <laughs> Not anymore. Now we got worse. I don't particularly like how they have the blood on Modern Warfare 3. It's not gruesome enough for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the M14 EBR in place of the MK14 and now what up guys, the Delta016 here again, and uh, I thought I'd bring you my next Kinex Armory model out a little bit early. So, why not, hey? Um, I hope you enjoyed my M4A1. Now, like I said at the end of it, the MK14, also from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this, this is one of my favourites. I personally haven't used it. Um, I haven't unlocked it in survival yet or multiplayer but I like it I use it a lot when it's the EBR version on Modern Warfare 2 um, and in the campaign for Modern Warfare 3 so it's got the front sights I think yep I just couldn't see it uh, it's got the back sights with the thingies the twisty things uh, kept the magazine one handy thing the MK14 you could basically make it from um, from the M4A1 out of Kinex, my version. Um, it's got the stock, obviously it's different sticks, because then, I don't know if I'll be able to do this one-handed, because I haven't actually tried this yet. Um, but, uh, hey, if this fails, oh, it's, and bingo no, as I say a fair amount of times, the stock collapses in, so that when you're firing it, when you're holding it, comes in quite close. So anyway, I'm going to have it there because it's a little bit more easy to wield. So if we look down the sights, with, oh god, there we are. See, in there, if I can get them lined up, ah, oh, forget it. Um, it is a bit clunky when you look at it that way, but from the side it does have the effect of having the twisty things for adjusting the sights. Uh, it's got the cock in handle right there. Again, I can't do this one handed because, again, I'm holding the camera one handed. I still haven't figured out how to uh, bloody well put this somewhere. Um, but again, it's going to show you the three attachments, and um, I'm going to say what they are. They're basically the same as the M4A1. Obviously, one of them has been modified to suit the Modern Warfare 3 style MK14. So, we've got the ACOG. Uh, we have the holographic sight and we've got the modified M203 grenade launcher to the M320. So, as we did with the last one, take this away. And here we are with the holographic sight. This is, um, I might have to think of another attachment for this because this is a pain to put on. Because um, obviously it's got the, uh, got the bolt there and 
I don't know if you can see it, but the red thing, um, hold on, right where my thumb is, um, I had to push that forward. This is actually the first time I've attached the holographic sight to this, um, but I've had to push this forward so that it can fit on. You can see the sights are not perfect, they go off to one side, but um, I guess to compensate by that you can hold it so that your thumb or finger or both as in my case hold it in place um, I kept the sights on because I don't really see them being moved off in the actual version from the game but again we take this away and we bring it back with the ACOG scope um, I deliberately chose to put this on after the holographic because well like I said I usually put ACOGs and grenade launchers together it's just my kind of combo and once again the sights um, I think they line up yeah if you put it up to your shoulder and look down there looking down oh, come on and bingo looking through there they do line up so, uh, so yeah pretty much that thing there the red thing I had to push forward for the holographic sight I can bring that back all that does, because if you can see there, that red bit in there is holding this yellow bit in there. Thankfully I got a light on this camera. Um, it's just so that I could put a bit of space between the magazine and the grip, because this is slightly modified from my original design. Um, but that there, it stops the bolt from going too far back. And that there, I guess just stops it from going too far forward and pushing the scope forward because it's on one of these I don't know if you can see it and so that would slide forward um, not intentionally so bring this away to add on one last thing and that is we bring on the clunky M2, M320 grenade launcher I want to know why does the MK14 use an M320 while in COD4 and Black Ops the M14 uses an M203. I know they're completely different models, but I just want to know. So, yeah, sorry about that. I'll try and show you the bolt in action. I'll apologize for my odd camera angles, but I don't do photography. And I'm a budding filmmaker. I want to do that kind of stuff. So, slide back. And slide it forward. Obviously, whoa, shite. Sorry. <laughs> Um, obviously when you're actually holding this two-handed and you know you're playing you're going bang 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 again the magazine won't come out yeah, well it can come out but if you want it first slide it out pretend to slide it out and pretend to slide it in pull the bolt so this is the Delta 016 hoping you enjoyed my MK14 from the Kinex Armory with M320 ACOG and holographic sight thanks for watching uh, just quickly before I upload the video, um, something I think I'd just say, when I do actually start asking you guys what gun you would like me to make, um, I draw the line at this. This piece of crap, I will never make. I have made it before, um, but it was, I just, you know, the truth behind it, I hate the AK-47. I hate the AK-74U. The AKS-74U, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oops, sorry. Um, and the RPK. I hate them. I will never, ever make a Kalashnikov. Not even a Dragunov. I won't make anything to do with the AK-47. So, when I do start asking you guys what gun you would like me to make at Connex, don't ask me to make an AK. Don't ask me to make any kind of AK okay um, well that's my moan over um, the Delta 016 is signing off